Hey guys, Lexi Lou here, and welcome back to my channel. And if you haven't noticed by the title and the balloons behind me today is my 18th birthday. Um, woo, August 6th. This is going up a little bit later than that, obviously, because my birthday was a Monday this year. But, um... <coughs> So I wanted to do a little get ready with me before I start taking pictures with my balloons and all that and with my friends so um, and to make this interesting I'm going to be answering a hundred questions that I have saved onto my phone which I hope will make this more interesting so you get to know me, I don't know. Anyway, let's jump right into this. I just primed my face with my usual primer, which is the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. And I'm going to be just diving into my foundation, which is the NARS Natural Radiant in the shade... I'm not even positive what shade that is. I'm going to use a Morphe Flat Kabuki brush today because that's how I feel. Alright, so number question number one is what is important to you? Um, what is important to me is, um, relationships, like friendships, um, family, I mean, I don't always hang around my family, but I do really appreciate them, and I feel like friendship's really important, trust is something you always have to have. What do you care about? What do I look like having feelings? Bad bitch doesn't have feelings. What hobby would you get into? If time and money weren't an issue. If time and money weren't an issue, I would get into shopping, hands down. What job would you be terrible at? Nursing. What's the most annoying habit that other people have? Hmm. Hmm. Um, the fact that my boyfriend just hung up with me is pretty annoying. Oh, tea. Anyway, I was gonna say, um, lying, I guess. But you like, you like my, my contour? Yes. I should not blend in. I'm just gonna look terrible and I'm gonna cry. When people come to you for help, what do they usually want help with? Makeup? <laughs> yes! So it takes up too much of your time. Swimming and working. Boys. <laughs> Makeup. <laughs> well, I know that's your answer for me. Yeah, I don't actually do that my makeup that much. In my opinion. Why does it look orange? Or is it just me? The lady at the store was like, Oh, this shade will be perfect for you. It's orange. What age do you wish you could permanently be? 21. 21. What's not plus 10? 21. You stupid. What's the most annoying question that people ask you? I don't actually know. I don't get asked questions. People are afraid of me. What are you most looking forward to in the next 10 years? Graduating college and getting my life together. <laughs> What's something you've been meaning to try but just haven't got around to it? I guess finding out what I want to do with my life. <laughs> I've been meaning to find out what I want to do with my life. I just haven't gotten to it. I haven't done like a lot of shit I need to do. Honestly. There's some weird questions. Like this one says if you suddenly suddenly became a master at woodworking, what would you make? Like what? Vanities because my mom sold mine. <laughs> what is the luckiest thing that has happened to you? I want an iPod. Like the first generation iPod when it first came out when I was like seven. Well actually and I left the North Face at a, a gym and I never got it didn't get stolen for like a week and I came back and I found it in the locker. Good times. What thing do you really want? But can't afford a lifestyle. Just the whole your whole lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Nice. Cause if I had if I had the money, I'd eat what I want every single day. I would buy what I want. I would. It would be over for you, bitches. Honestly. Where would you spend all of your time if you could? Out of the state. <laughs> what age do you want to live to? I don't want to be like a hundred and like suffering. I want to live to an age where I'm so comfortable. Yeah. I That's mean, nice. if I could be a healthy ninety year old. But like, I don't. I don't know what is like in store for me. I just don't want to be like miserable like I am. <laughs> what did you think you would grow out of I haven't? Filming myself. <laughs> never did. What is something you will never do again? I'm on Tinder. <laughs> no, but really. What is what, something I will never do again? Um, well, fall in love. <laughs> At least like, I just know your answer, the answer to them so I don't say them. <laughs> you should. Like this one's, what is something you are certain you'll never experience? Love. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew that was what you were gonna say. <laughs> what are you addicted to? Chocolate. Yes, chocolate. Dessert, period, junk food. But I'm also addicted to procrastinating. 
like, are we gonna talk about the fact that this is my 18th birthday video and my birthday was yesterday? <laughs> I thought we weren't talking about that. <laughs> I'll probably put it in there just because it shows me. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't set my under eyes. What irrational fear do you have? Rice. <laughs> You know what, I, I eat rice. I think it's like, like just period food I don't like. Like, if someone eats ravioli around me, like, I swear to God I'm ravioli? gonna throw up. Yeah. Why? I don't know. It just disgusts me. Like, if, I can't be around someone eating that, or like just certain foods I don't like. Like, my, like, I'll start to like gag. Sorry. What do you hope your last words will be? <laughs> Man, I wanted to do something like, like, you know, like, sentimental and cute, but honestly, it'd probably be like, bye bitches. I honestly don't even need this bronzer because I'm already fucking bronzed from this stupid Too Faced concealer, but whatever. What are you really good at, but kind of embarrassed that, you're, that you are good at it? Makeup. You're embarrassed that you're good at makeup? Like, yeah, like, I, I wish I could, like, be that bitch that, like, just posts, like, all of her makeup looks on social media, like, on public, like, on my real Instagram and not on, like, a certain account. Like, I wish I wasn't afraid of what people thought. What mistake do you keep making again and again? <laughs> you know, I'm gonna find love. <laughs> I've come to terms with I'm gonna be a single, lonely lady who's gonna have to go to the sperm donor and have a child bear and raise her on my own, or him. I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna accidentally get pregnant by someone also, and then they're gonna leave me, so. Cheaper than a sperm donor, I guess, and you get child support, so. <laughs> That's the typical white girl answer. Yeah. In your group of friends, what role do you play? I don't know. I feel like you're always the one that's like, I want to go to sleep. And we're like, <laughs> you're saying you I'm the best kill the friend group. <laughs> what keeps you up at night? The fact that I'm going to die alone and be a dog woman with my single child. <laughs> what lie do you tell most often? I'm sick. <laughs> okay. I can't come to work today. I'm sick. Um, Although I have had a UTI for the past month, so. You know I never meant to let you down, let you down when I gave you anything. We gave you any ring, oh, whoa. We just spent 30 minutes trying to open three cans, and we broke the can opener. You fucking idiot. Um. I need to do my eyebrows. Do I want to go for a natural brow? No. What the fuck? They said, should kidneys be able to be bought and sold? <laughs> no, because there's people who need kidneys and they don't even have them. My dad. And that's the team. <laughs> Look at that highlight though. When's the last time you were snooping and found something you wish you hadn't? <laughs> well, you see. <laughs> that's right. Really well, you see. It was two days before my birthday. <laughs> it was midnight. And this boy left his phone open, his Apple Watch to be exact. He gave me the passcode to it. And he was texting little girls saying he loved them and that they were his and shit. And I was like, get the fuck out of my house. This is going to be a whole story time, so I'm not even going into detail. Basically, don't fuck with other girls' heads. That's just wrong. Plain and simple. What quotes do you use on a regular basis? I have crippling depression. <laughs> People saying they won't end up a certain way, and they do. If you were a ghost and could possess people, what would you make them do? I mean, it depends who it is. I would possess, um, Kim Kardashian and make her give me a shout-out. After you died? Oh, shit, I have to die? It says, if you're a ghost and could possess anyone. Why can't I just be half-human, half-ghost? Like, why can't you I be Dan the Phantom? <laughs> What's the last time you immediately regretted something you said when she asked me to come over this morning? <laughs> yeah. Um, no. <laughs> Honestly, all I can think of is, like, mean things I've said so people stop talking to me. Like, I will purposely say something rude to someone just so they will stop talking to me. I've done it before. I did to my ex-boyfriend, but I'm not sorry. Actually, I did regret it at the time, but I don't fucking like him, so I don't care anymore. What's the silliest thing you've seen someone get upset about? Someone being upset that you're on FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> Who would be upset about that? Also, someone getting upset that you wouldn't sleep with them. Last time you yelled at someone. Two nights ago. Do you feel like you know even though you've never met them? Do you ever start? Do you ever start? Say, no. Jacqueline Hill, man. Where are you not welcome anymore? 
Okay, this weird thing happens with this concealer. It, like, blotches up in spots on my forehead, and I don't understand why. But, um, anyway. Where am I not welcome anymore? I mean, I would probably say my old swim team. They never, like, banned me or anything. But if they ever saw me again, they'd probably never talk to me. But I don't mind. <laughs> I wouldn't talk to them either. What qualities do all your friends have in common? That they don't exist. What odd smell do you really enjoy? Basketballs. What food do you crave most often? Dessert. What trend are you tired of? Annoying people. <laughs> I don't think that's a trend. It is a trend. What company do you despise? Olive Garden. <laughs> but no. I you were gonna say that. No, like when I think of company, I think of like makeup. Um, Probably Kylie Cosmetics. We're almost done, yay! I'm going to be using my birthday gift, the Superhero Volume Mascara. What escalated very quickly? Multiple things, actually. Um, I'm a little bit dramatic, um, so it tends to happen to me a lot. Um, hmm, what escalated very quickly? Well, we could say um, my relationship, which turned into me kicking someone out of my house. Um, we can talk about the Olive Garden situation <laughs> where I had to pay six fifty. Well, I could have just got up and left, but I'm, I'm a good child of God, and I paid five fifty. You can't lie to someone, like tell them that you're gonna be there for them, and then not show up, and then get mad and take a guy's side. You never take a guy's side over a girl's side. If you're a girl, you always take the girl's side, unless they're really fucking wrong, especially if they're your best friend. Bitch, this is actually a really nice mascara. I fuck with it. I did a nightmare that's really vivid to this get day, so I'm gonna tell it. So, I had a dream that I was at my old house, and I was laying in my bed that I have, and it was, I was with my sister, and it was pitch black, like, we were in this huge, long-ass hallway, and, um, we had one, um, no, we had two, one each, uh, like, little, like a torch, we had a torch, and I was like, we were fucking Indiana Jones for some reason. I don't know why. And I was like, Chrissy, you go check what's down there. And she got up and went. And I was like, damn, she's taking a while. I should go after her. So I go down the hallway and I get to my door. And I go to open the door and something attacks me and I fall on the ground. It's like a mummy or something. I look up and my sister's strapped down to a chair and she's like howling and like changing into a werewolf. What? <laughs> and I wake up. Howling and sweating. <laughs> On God, I was howling. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? It was so vivid, man. If you owned a restaurant, what kind of food would it serve? It would be a chocolate restaurant. Just chocolate? Yes. And Nothing Italian else. chocolate. Yes. It'd be all chocolate. I mean, I was thinking Italian, and then I was like, why be like that when I can just be my own chocolate? place and everyone just shows up for chocolate. It'd be like one of those weird ass shops that you like have to go to visit because it's so interesting because there's nothing like it. What from the present will withstand the test of time? Like what? Fuck you know. Jellyfish. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Hopefully have kids um, graduate college. Shit like that. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching me get ready for my 18th. I will probably be inserting some pictures of me with my 18 balloons, my cake, and all of that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed getting to know me. I don't know if we reached 100 questions. I don't think Probably we did. Probably more than that, honestly. Oh, I don't think we reached 100. Haley thinks we did more, so we'll see. But, um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell. Also, make sure to follow me on my other social media so we can be friends. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye.